happy to miss. Great, yeah. great win, obviously. What were, your, what were your thoughts on the game and the performance? Yeah, we'd spoke about obviously, um, you know, what a, what a significant game it could be for us. Um, you know, uh, so we were just focusing on on making sure we got off to a big start. You know, Warrington are a, a very quick starting team, so we, we knew that we needed to match, um, you know, their efforts and intensity and go beyond it. And I thought, I think that's most clinical we've been. Oh yeah, you know they had some early pressure on us, and I thought I thought we we stood that really well. And then when we got chance to um, you know to throw a bit of shape at them, um, I thought we were really clinical. How we went about as business, so we're just saying in there that we've got to build on that now. You know it's really important we don't we don't get carried away with yourself. We keep yourself nice and grounded. You know we give ourselves fighting chances. We've said all along, and you know we've got to keep on just taking it week by week and making sure we hit the standards that, that we set for ourselves. You mentioned that defence and there was some early defending to do, wasn't there? You know, I just wondered how important that was in the overall scheme of things. Yeah, massive. You know, Warren are a quality outfit. They've got international quality players throughout the round. So we knew we had to be on it defensively, you know, and um, we got a repeat set. And I thought, you know, once we defended that second set, I thought, yeah, we're on it. Because we were really disappointed with how we started against Huddersfield. Uh, so we, you know, we've made a big uh, song and dance all week about making sure we started how we wanted to start and dictated it on our terms. And I thought as soon as we got a chance to, uh, you know, to turn the screw, so to speak, and put a bit of pressure on them, um, I thought we were real clinical and, and composed how we went about this business. So really happy, um, you know, how we've gone about it. But as I said, it's really important. We enjoy tonight, we celebrate a win, but come, come Monday morning, uh, we'll be back to it, getting ready for a lesson. Talk to us about that prolific left edge. You had some joy on that side of the field, to say the least, today. Yeah, well, we, you know, we thought we'd get some joy down there uh, after looking at Warrington. We felt there were a bit of a, uh, a vulnerability there that we could exploit, and I thought, you know, it wasn't just that left edge. I thought the right edge did their work in terms of tying up their middles and making them work around them corners. And um, you know, you, that's exactly why we've got any senior back. You put him in open space, and I don't think there's many quicker than him is there in open field. And, uh, Couple of good finishers. I thought Tom Lining were outstanding as well. You know, he did exactly what we want from him with his yardage stuff and um, you know his little uh, kick it through at end, shall we say? And then I thought best player for me today was Liam Hood. I thought he were outstanding. It's best I've seen him go this year. And um, yeah, as I said, I think most players today were eight, nine out of ten, and we just got to build on it now. We 22 nil at half time, and they scored quickly after half time, didn't they? Were you pleased with how? You switched on again immediately after that try. Yeah, we'd spoke about that. Um, you know, a team like Warrington is not just going to lie down and roll over. We knew they'd come out all guns blazing, and we spoke about matching their start. You know, and going beyond it. Um, you know, when when he scored that that try, uh, I thought we formed up great, and we changed that. You know, that momentum we gave really well over the next ten minutes, and um, you know, ultimately. You know, got the pressure that we're, we're craving ourselves. So yeah, as I said, a real, real good performance. We'll enjoy tonight, and then um, you know we'll be back to it uh, Monday morning. There's some great performances out there. You mentioned a few. How would you sum up uh, Luke Gale's influence on the team? Uh, yeah, listen, he's an international class for math. I know he's 35 now, but his mind's still as sharp as it's ever been, and that's exactly what we're signing. We're, if I'm perfectly honest with you, I think we've been missing that. At start of the year, there were a lot of pressure going on to Mason. Um, you know, Mason's naturally a, a runner of the ball, and I thought Mason probably had his best game of the year. Uh, you know, with Luke being there to take that pressure off him, and you know, he's like any good scrum half. He's he's got a gob on him. Uh, he's got some good composure about him, and he he knows how to withstand a bit of pressure. So, yeah, really happy with Luke, and he, exactly what I thought we'd get out. Luke Gale is still a, a top quality player. That's four straight wins at home now, I think, isn't it? And four of the last seven are at home. So home, Bellevue is going to be really important to you for the rest of the season. Yeah, I think it is for any team. Every team wants to make the, the home a bit of a, you know, a fortress, don't they? But as I said, we're not going to get too cocky with yourself. Really happy and proud of how we've, we've played today, but we're not going to rest on his laurels. You know, come next week, we, we'll face a completely different challenge and uh, we're going to make sure that you know we keep showing up for each other and doing what's working for us. Just last one from me, yeah. in, his, in, his, in his third spell, four tries, yeah. much better than that, could it? Yeah, you'd take that for a return, wouldn't you? But no, we, we felt we were a little bit short in cover on wings at the moment with uh, Remain B down with that shoulder injury. And Innes is a player that we admire and you know we know exactly what he can do. And I think the balance that we got today on the wings with the opposition that we're playing were, were just what we needed. And, um, yeah, really pleased for him. I mean, more rate four tries. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but 
as I say, I think I think there were a lot of players that that did the job today, and, and wingers, you know, good wingers are there to finish opportunities, aren't they? And they definitely finished the opportunities that were created for them. Thank you, Mark. First yeah. time you've been level on points at the bottom now since mid March. Psychologically, does that change anything? Do you, do you start to look at the league table, or do you just keep keep heads down? Uh, yeah, I don't think for us. I think. Um, Everyone's written us off all year. You know, we've just been focusing on it in his own standard, and um, you know, we'll just focus on week by week. Some people will look at it and make it into things, and we'll let others worry about the table. We'll just worry about making sure that we show up each week and achieve goals that we set. And you know, hopefully, putting them performances that we know we'll, um, you know, we need to to do every week to achieve what we want to achieve. You come along way from the side that couldn't score a point in games at the start of the year. Did did your confidence ever waver in this group at all? Uh, no, it's definitely a challenging time um, for anyone, whether that's a player, a coach, you know, people's families, you know, when you're in the middle of them losing streaks. But we try not to make a big song, song and dance of things, but we're, we're losing quite a bit of key personnel, you know, for quite a long period of games, you know, hence why, um, you know, we got Will Dagger in, you know, when we didn't have a full back or a, you know, a Super League experience full back for a number of weeks. And, I don't think there's any coincidence in getting some proven players and leaders back in the ranks and an upturn in form. Um, it's always nice to blood your youth, um, but you've got to be smart now you blood them. You know you can't blood six or seven at all at once and, and not expect to, you know, a bit of disjointment in how you play. You know, because there's some harsh lessons to learn. I mean, you saw today when we had uh, Big Sam and um, Harry out there. You know that. Through nature at beast, then first 50 uh, games in Super League, you learn some pretty brutal lessons, and you know you can probably get away with one or two because there's a lot of senior lads out there that can kind of talk them through it and and nurture them through. But when you've got four or five or six out there, um, you know they don't know how to swing that momentum back in the game. So yeah, I'm pleased how we've stuck together and and how we've come out the other side. But it's it's not over yet. You know we've still got seven. I think it's seven anyway. Um, big games left and we've just got to make sure we don't get carried away with it and we just keep on being humble and, and focusing on it week after week and just chalking them off that way. And it is effectively in your hands now though for the first time in a long time. Are you, are you the favourites to stay up you think now? I don't know as I say I'll let it's a good question there but I'll um, I'll let I'll let the outside noise worry about all that. We'll just focus on making sure that you know we we stay together, um, we don't get cocky, you know, we keep humble about it and we, we make sure that we keep on showing up for each other. Just on Max Jarrett as well, I yeah. some of the passes you know, some of the Yeah, it's um, Max's 100th career game today, first grade, uh, what way to do it, I think. I've said all along, um, for me, when he's on the front foot, he's one of the best passing fullbacks in, in the league. Um, you know, if you were at a... Uh, you know, how shall I word it? If you were at a club that's probably a bit more of a, a glamour club, shall we say, I'm sure he'd be getting a lot more uh, attention than he, he maybe does at, at Wakefield, where we're currently at in terms of our uh, journey. But yeah, real happy for Max. He's a, he's a quality player, and you know, there's still a lot of improvement in him. And if if he carries on doing what he's doing in training and showing up like that in games, he, I think he'll be pushing for international honours in the next three, four years. I really do. With the results in this run yeah. and the performances, yeah. how hard is it to keep the players humble and focused when they're all getting the plaudits now, which obviously they weren't getting at the start of the season? I don't think it's that hard, as I say, there's some real good senior heads in there that know exactly what's at stake and what needs to be done, you know. Um, you know, you look at your Luke Gales, uh, your Dave Fafitas, um, Jay Pitts, Matty Ashes, uh, Riesling, you know, they've been there, they've seen it, they know exactly what's needed and um, I think anyone in life, we've all had pretty harsh lessons where we think things are going really rosy and you come into a, a bit of a car crash if you take your foot off the gas, don't you? So, uh, you know, it happened to us at Huddersfield last week, if I'm honest with you. I thought we wasn't willing to invest the energy that we've done in the previous team. So, you know, hopefully that'll be our, our learning curve and we can carry on building them, um, you know, them effort-based things and make sure that we're, we're the best team on the field with them. Mark, well, we can all see that there's clear performance change improvements. Yeah. What about mentally? Has, has anything changed collectively, individually within the group from a mental standpoint? Uh, no, but it's always easier, isn't it, when you're winning? There's no hiding away from that in life. But um, I think I think the biggest thing for me is, you know, regardless of, of where we are now, like there's been a lot of 
pretty good life lessons for people, not just with rugby league, but their own, you know, personal development. You know, it's never nice when I think at one point we were six adrift, were we? And um, you know, everyone's calling you every name under the sun. There were no hiding away from it, whether it were you know, out in your city or, you know, reading it in the media if you if you read that sort of stuff and there were a lot of things not only for players to deal with but the partners and the families so I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that's learned a lot about themselves in that sense but um, you know it's all something you can use to to develop yourself and hopefully take a bit of experience from it moving forward can't you? I know you won't want to speak too much about it but it yeah. must be nice for you gratifying that look you've still got some work to do but yeah. being able to turn it around to this point so far after all the screwing and criticism which yeah. no doubt of, of yeah I think I think self belief in anything you do in life is important um, I knew that I were, or we were working hard I knew that we wasn't taking shortcuts behind the scenes obviously we wasn't getting the, the products out on the field you know like it's never nice how, you know when you were getting nilled and you're thinking you know is it, it's a good test of character isn't it is it, is it working but I, I never had any doubt not in an uh, arrogant way, but just in a, I knew I was working hard and I knew that if I carried on working hard and, and we got, you know, a few personnel back, I knew it had come. So, uh, yeah, good test of character more than anything else, mate, if I'm honest with you. Just, sorry, just on in this again, yeah. this is for spelling it. Is it, is it time to just get him permanent? Yeah, I wish it were that easy. Obviously, he's got um, a contract at Huddersfield. You know, I think, I think we tried... Uh, a couple of years back but there's obviously all the compensation rulings and, and things like that and you know we appreciate Huddersfield letting him come back on loan um, you know they are in the driving seat uh, as such because he's technically their player and you know I know there'll be a lot of conversations behind the scenes that if that was an option I'm sure it's something you know we'd like to explore but as I said we we really appreciate Huddersfield letting us having this on loan and, and you know we want to be respectful that he's their player. Now you've yeah. um, you've scored forty points uh, today, yeah. uh, which is uh, not been done for Wakefield for, since twenty twenty one, which is brilliant. So congratulations. Thank you. What is what do you want to your team to be known as uh, in, for the rest of this season now? Because offensively you've done it forty two yeah. points, and defensively you've kept them out six points. How do you want uh, this team to be? In an ideal world, I'd like that scoreline every single week, yeah. but it's definitely not going to be that. Um, you know, there's it's a, there's definitely going to be a few more uh, tests of character. You know, there's always a, a few surprises, isn't there? Um, I've never doubted that if we had, you know, the sort of personnel that we had out there today, that we can play a bit. I think you saw today exactly how we want to play rugby. Um, I thought the clinicalness of the skill uh, created them opportunities, you know, and the execution of the skill. Uh, but every coach will tell you the same, you've got to base your, your game on defence, you've got to make sure that um, you know you can withstand what an opposition is going to throw at you and we've just got to keep on building on that, making sure that we've got that, that grit about us and um, you know that desperation uh, shall we say you know, to defend us different areas of the field and make sure that we're the most hungry team out there.